Good day, guys. Welcome back. So we're going to be doing the um, Need for Speed, um, Need for Speed Unbounded um, review. So um, I played through the whole game. I've done the whole story. Um, there are things I've not done. So things like I don't know, what to say the collecting and some of the activities because there's just a lot of them. Um, I don't know what it is with games and they're over dependent on collecting shit. I mean, if it was part of the story, yes. If it's so, for example, something like I would say Zelda with its pieces of hearts and heart containers, yeah, something like that is great. It's fine with that. It, it adds to the game because it increases your life and things like that. It's something um, positive you can use collecting for. But for Need for Speed, and especially the last few um, years, um, the collecting stuff is starting to get on my nerves. So I'm going to be ranting about these guys for a while because I just started doing the collecting stuff. Um, I did not realize how many goddamn collector's balls there is in it. There's uh, so many. Um, now, the way I play through go games, guys, I play through the whole game like um, I concentrate on the game. I don't worry about anything else that's on the map. Um, don't do that. I recommend if you can do a, co um, a collectible or an activity um, early on, go for it. Give it a shot. I mean, worst case scenario, you don't do it. I mean, hoo hoo. Um, the collectibles, you should be able to get all for me pretty easily. I have not run into any collectible that required a supercar or anything like that. A car with probably about, probably an A car will be more, um, easy enough for you to do, which I'll explain about the cars in a minute, guys. Because there are things about the game that need to bother me. Um, there's actually a lot that get out the game that bother me. Um, and that's it. But yeah, so we're just going to start, guys. The story is a bit more, um... It's an interesting story. I mean, I think it's so. Someone I watch on YouTube thinks this story is not as good as um, Need for Speed Heat. And you know what? I think I do agree with him to an, most of the point. I mean, this one's story is not bad. I mean, it's not like Payback. Payback? Um, yeah, Need for Speed Payback. Um, that was, that was a shit story, guys. I didn't like that story that much because it just did feel. I felt really, um, I don't know, wrong. Um, so yeah, when it comes to story, I say it's probably like the second or third best. Um, I think the best story I can really think of is probably something like Most Wanted, the first one for the um, Xbox 360, and maybe the other one I think was called Wanted. I think I can't remember the names, guys. Forgive me if I get the name wrong. See me. Um, Need for Speed 2015 wasn't too bad in the story department, so maybe. But yeah, they're, they're, it's a pretty, it's not bad. I mean, it's not, like I said, not the worst. It's not like Payback. It's really, really bad or Pro Street where it's just bad across the board. Um, but yeah, we're, we're talking about that. Um, so yeah, I like the story. Wasn't best, wasn't the worst. It's in the mid tier, guys. Let's put in the mid tier. We'll just move on. Um, now we're going to be talking about the handling and the control of the car. And I hated it. I really did not like it. I think Need for Speed Heat. Had it perfectly. Um, I think Need for Speed Heat was probably a better handling game. It just felt a bit more natural. I mean, you got to remember, guys, this is an arcade, so don't expect it to be perfect. And it's going to be a bit more arcade-ish, so it's not going to be perfect. It does have the ability to tune your car which way you want, which is good. You do have a little bit more flexibility in that department. For like, oh, um, for example, you got sensitivity for your steering. Um, the stronger the higher it is, for example, the more easy it is to turn, but the more likely you lose control. Um, and then it's got the other, the other side of the coin where it's basically it turns less, but it's um, it's less likely to lose control. Basically that, and then you got the downforce, and you know the downforce thing. You know, the, I think the lower I had it, it was the faster it went, and the higher you had it, the better it coin. And then you just have two other ones which don't really. But one, they actually do matter in this instance. So you're working on a car, for example, you're working on a, like a track car or track build. Um, you'll need to turn traction control on, or don't need to. Turn traction control on will save you a lot of time. Also, you could disable the um, drift ability, because that will cause problems. Because how the drift works is that it will drift pretty much any time you accelerate, and any time you're, um, you're braking. So... I can, that's what the reason I do not like about the drifting guys. That's the big reason why I don't like it. So I'm driving around with it, everything default, and next thing I know, I'm sliding across the road without actually without a good reason. And then I found out that other than the brake 
activating the drift the also when you accelerate again that activates it too which really annoys me um now i'll probably get away with using the brake but i took the easy route and just turned them both off because i'm i'm racing for um the track so i never did any um drift there or anything like that well, well unfortunately when i'm playing some of the um activities off camera i'll have no choice because some of it's drift related so i'll have to get a drift car and slide all around those corners as best i can um like i said there's a lot there after after game content so like i said you got the activities you got the what was it, activities the, um collectibles and you got the online which i have played the online thing i like is a bit less chaotic so that's i guess a bonus um i haven't played too much of it i don't really find a need for it it's one of those games that has its own seasons you know like destiny does these days Fortnite and all those type of games there's so many games like that coming out like that and it's just it's just not i don't think it's worth it um so yeah i'm not a big fan of the um online type of games to be honest um unless it's something i really have to be online like i don't know lord we call um world of warcraft or lord of the yeah, rings online or a big warhammer and many oh, others dude. But I could have done driving this thing. But yeah, I, for the most part, as I said, um, yeah, the yeah, handling was a bit questionable. I mean, it's not the worst handling. Or actually, yeah, no, it's cold. probably not the worst just handling. Just I'm going to actually think. Okay. Actually, it might be. Give me a second. I'm going to process this for a second. Yeah, it is. It's the worst handling one yet. It's only because it's your car. It's not perfect. I mean, they. I think they need a little bit of fine tuning. They fine tuning maybe a little bit. Maybe put a bit more closer to the heat. I mean, I think we could have done really well. I think the um the turning and all that's closer to payback. Um, I don't know. They're trying to like make it a like a payback heat hybrid or some sort of weird nonsense like that. But yeah. Um, now there is something i do want to bitch about and this is about the game's um audio settings so as you know you um if you're a streamer or a content creator like myself um when you're playing games and doing let's plays and streams and shit the one thing you don't want to do is have um what you call copyright strikes now this game does not have an opportunity to put in a um streamer mode if so we call or content mode so it doesn't use uh, they don't have other uh, music tracks that are not copyrighted um so that was a big problem because every time i did that it just threw me error messages so i had to use off um screen um music and he said um the people i the youtube channel i went to was known as ncs non-copyright source i think it was called and they have a lot of music on there that's not copyrighted so that's it makes life easy that's why some of the when you if you watch my let's um let's play as an yeah, probably well, my last place. I'm not going to do on streams. I'm turning on streams. I, I think I've got it on by default, and it didn't give me an error so, message. So I don't know what the hell's going on there. Um, but yeah. She didn't know the difference between a spanner and a torch. Yeah, just the same thing. Actually, no, I think I streamed and it didn't give me any copyright, which is really weird. Unless I had music running in the background, which is a possibility because I do have my music on a lot of the time. Um, it could have been what it was. Um, but either way, guys, they need to make another mode where it's easier for streamers just to slip the button and the game put on some sort of other non copyright material. It wouldn't be that hard to implement into a game like this, so. Okay, not to mention there's tons of music like that so it wouldn't be even the hand and because it's not copyrighted you, do you don't garage. need to look for the um permission so you can just <laughs> was use it about how Rydell would call me when he couldn't find Renchi. <laughs> um so what else we're going to talk about to now the game well, is kind of interesting with the whole idea of the car when i first played it i didn't know what the hell to do i had I no idea the first just to mess with them. just the way it's set up and all that so once you get through the main part of the game the starting part as i like to call it the intro um it explains a lot of stuff but doesn't explain everything um it gets you familiar with how the cars handle how the um events are laid out and stuff like that but once you get into the main game it starts to get, it can be a little hairy um like for example once you get the first week so how it breaks down is you got to beat the, the um, people at the end grand but it's got four weeks so you'd be going out every day at night obviously like the fsb heat um unlike heat um daytimes the cops will chase you unfortunately which i hate that idea guys it's annoying i mean like in heat you can you can make money during the day and at night you can get the reputation this game doesn't have that the only benefit of doing a night is sometimes they'll give you a bit more um yeah, high wins. That's about it. It's really no benefit to doing it at night time. 
almost no. I, personally, that's my opinion. Um, there are some there are some races that give you a good amount of money, but it's only like one or two. It's nothing too severe. Um, and also, the, the worst thing is the heat level follows you from day to night. So we would say you got up to say heat free. Will follow you into the night, so it'll still be heat free when you leave the garage. The only way that resets is once the day's done. So once you do day and night, and then it resets back to zero, and you do the next day. Uh, I didn't like that personally, but it wasn't the worst thing. I mean, I can get I can get over that. The thing that really killed me, guys, was just uh, um, I was going to say it now. I can't remember what I was going to say. This is embarrassing. I got my notes written down. And I still forget. Uh, so yeah, that's all right. I was going to talk about the reputation. Um, I don't really have one in this game. I don't believe. I think you got some reputation. You know, like a score you build up. But um, yeah, the heat levels are really irrelevant. I mean, they're not even that important. They're not important to the game because they don't. They, you don't. Um, it's not a multiplier or anything, so you don't get any more reps. You don't get any more money. You do get some money for um, getting away from the cops. So it's not a total put down, uh, and the cops, guys. When I first started playing this game, I thought the cops were just pushovers. The first three levels I could beat within the first within my B class car. Four and five is a bit more hard, but that's doable too. Um, when you get closer to like once you get the A's and A plus and the S and S plus, which is that's all there is. So other groups, there's like B's. A's, A plus, S, and S plus. So that's five. Um, yeah, well, like I said, once you get to A's, four can be easily done. Five can be a bit of a challenge, but it's not too hard, really. Once you get to the S and S plus, you can easily outrun five. Not a problem, because they usually run into things a lot of the time. Not really a great... Uh, it's not like an for speed heat, um, where when you hit level five, cops just come from every direction. It's not like that. Nothing like nothing like that. I don't know if there's com people complaining about it or what, but yeah, that's the thing in this game that lets me down. Cop chases are just pitiful and a giant waste of time. There's no need for them. I mean, you're gonna have cops just make them make them work something. Just give me a reason to have cops in them. Give me a reason to get a pursuit. Um, what the time when trying to avoid a cop? It's just not worth it. Um, not all working to muck around. I mean, if we didn't have the cops in it, guys, I'll probably have the game done in half the time. But that's my opinion. I think you've got most of you guys will probably agree the cops aren't really relevant. Um, the cars are definitely are, guys. There's a lot of cars in that. All the classic cars, like the Porsche, what's the RSR, I think they call it. That's the one that's been most near for speed. You also got the um, the BMW, I think it was the M3 GTR in it. Uh, that's the one from Need for Speed um, for the Xbox 360, the most wanted one. That car tends to show up a lot of the time in a lot of Need for Speed games. It's, it was also in Carbon, Need for Speed Carbon, so don't forget about that. But yeah. Now I don't know how much of my mic I've been talking because my mic turned off. So I do apologise if there's some of this that's missing. Um, I'll check it as I when I edit or something. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the game, guys. I'm going to rate it about six, probably six, six and a half pops. It's not the greatest. Like I said, the handling for me it was a big killer. The music issue, as I mentioned earlier, is another thing that killed me. I mean, the music that's in the game outside the um, streaming thing is the good music. I mean, they're really they're exciting. They keep me they kept me pumped. So. They do work for the random, the normal pure, but for streamers and content creators, not so much. Um, they're a bit of a pain. So yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much how I feel about this Need for Speed, guys. So, like I said, six and a half. I think I'll give it. Um, now, because they prove it, probably the handling a little bit better. I think the handling could be improved. I mean, not much. It's not. Like terrible or unplayable or anything or just it took a long time for me to get used to it i took like half the game to get used to the damn handling also driving me insane but everything else is good guys it might take you a bit of learning just make sure you pay attention to what they tell you and all that they'll give you hints and stuff as you play the game um the activities and all that are, are going to be a big time waster trust me so you now just let you guys know about that um that's really it guys. I'm um, hopefully yeah, that's it. Like I said, I'm 
I'm pretty happy at six about 6.5 um like I said to get it to seven the handling had to be a little bit better and I would have made it to a seven uh get to higher ones you got really really good so yeah on that note guys cheers